There are a lot of things to love in Gravity Falls, whether it be the relatable characters, the mysterious setting, or the phenomenal story that kept delivering episode after episode. Despite the popularity the show had received from audiences over the years, there's still something surrounding it that doesn't get nearly as much love as it deserves, and that's the marketing. Maybe I'll talk about other segments in the future, but for this video in particular, we'll be focusing on Grunkle Stan's puppet adventures on Disney, and why they were genius. For anyone unaware, these were promos in 2015 that had aired on the channel every once in a while. Instead of basic teasers focusing on footage from upcoming Gravity Falls episodes, Disney's marketing team got a bit more creative than that. You see, anytime there would be a long gap in new episode premieres, or maybe there would be a massive event within the show, it wouldn't be surprising to see Puppet Stan. 2015 was a big year for Gravity Falls fans, if you know the episode that aired in March, so it's no surprise that we saw a focus on Grunkle Stan specifically. Anyway, one of the biggest promos was called Mystery Shack Shop at Home. I'm cleaning out the mystery shack. Get in here and buy this stuff! It featured a real-life set of the iconic tourist trap, and who else to run the counter than the man of mystery himself? He would talk directly to the viewer, promoting various items from within the shack. Not only that, but he'd constantly make comments that his animated counterpart in Gravity Falls would also say, it didn't feel like a cheaply put-together promo. There was actual effort here in making the set and the dialogue. Series creator Alex Hirsch obviously had a major role himself, considering he's the voice behind Grunkle Stan. It was with his magic that he brought to the table, which allowed these mystery Shack Shop at Home shorts to become an instant success. In a way, it felt like extra Gravity Falls content while we were waiting for new episodes. There were also special codes that fans had to work together to figure out what they were, and how that information could relate to the lore of the series. It acted as a bonus for anyone paying attention, and anyone who just loves Gravity Falls. What was also really cool is that the marketing team decided to release outtakes, with Alex staying in character the entire time. It was like Stan himself was messing up, and we'd see his reactions to getting lines wrong. Whatever it is, it's not not right on the teleprompter. I can't read it. I can't do it. Forget it. We'll do it live. We'll do it live! Okay, this is something I never knew I wanted in life until I got it, and now I want more. Shop at Home was only part of Grunkle Stan's puppet adventures though, because we also got the Lost Mystery Shack interviews. Instead of being in the main section of the shack, we're now in Stan's office as he interviews tons of different Disney XD stars. This worked not only because we got to see more of the legendary Grunkle and his great lines, but other shows on the channel were promoted too. It was basically a win-win for both Gravity Falls and whatever else Disney wanted to share at the same time. Now as per usual, Alex lended his voice to Stan here and you could tell he had a role in writing his lines too. Also, the set may not be anything as crazy as Shop at Home, but Stan's interactions with everyone more than made up for that. This was just really funny stuff. Hey, can you keep a secret? Of course I can keep a secret. Have you seen anyone looking for me? Not that I can see. Thank you! We'll be in touch! And in March 2015, the month of the biggest episode in the entirety of Gravity Falls, the tables were turned. Instead of interviewing others, Disney XD revealed a promo where Grunkle Stan was being interviewed himself, but by the police. This was made to bring more attention towards the episode that would change everything. Actual storylines are mentioned, but Stan keeps avoiding the questions and is cautious to give away his secrets. So at the end of the day, why are Grunkle Stan's puppet promos on Disney XD so genius? Because they were able to do something you never never really see with shows nowadays. It's too easy to put together a teaser of footage and call it a day, but when the team goes out of their way to bring the Mystery Shack into real life and also have Alex Hirsch involved, that's when you know this was special. To anyone who's either never heard of the Puppet Adventures or you just haven't watched them all before, search them up on YouTube because they're all available for your viewing pleasure and they're all amazing. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and come up below let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.